Hi, my name is Cindy Rang. And I'm Brianna Motzkis, and today is Fabra Chat. Good morning! Good morning. <laughs> Same week, different amount of people at work today. Omicron. <laughs> Yeah, to make so, this week extra fun, uh -huh. daycare closed. So I believe they're only allowing school-age kids. So the kids that are either getting on the bus at daycare or off the bus at daycare are allowed at daycare. And the infants, because the infants are already isolated. They already have their same, their own private room on the t other side of the building. So if you're a infant or in school, you can go to daycare. If you're three years old or, or four, four years old, you cannot. Yeah. <laughs> so it was super poopy. But, so, so, um, the kids think it is fabulous. They're super they excited. They came to work with mom. Oh, my gosh. Only one day. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yep. Yep. That's all I could take. Yeah. It was, um. you know, I have to say, Brianna is such a good mom. You, you really are. And I know I say that to you a lot. And I know I'm your mom and, you know. A little bias. A little bias. But I'm really not. You are such a good mom. So, we knew the night before it's like well what do you think and so we talked about it a little bit and the kids are very very good kids but they're so distracting and not yeah, in a bad no. way they're, they're just they're hilarious they're and they're goofy and they're always eating something really good that they want to feed to us and <laughs> you know it's just we just don't get any work yeah. done but it's like well let's just try it it should be fine so she brought them and when she they arrived were good yesterday, for like two and a half hours they were so good but a lot of it yeah. is your good momness because Let's she brought in um, all really good snacks mm -hmm. that were not going to stain anything. She made mm -hmm. a fort for them underneath the mm -hmm. table. She had a movie for them, had coloring, had their little block things. And it was pretty good until they were totally over it. But I think the reason they were over it is they got to get out and help move fabric. fabric. And all of that running around. That was, that was fun. But then it turned yeah. into a game, which got them in trouble, which made them sent back to the fort. Yeah. So, yeah. And Wyatt did over. ask me that he'd go back to work t with me again if I didn't make it so boring next time. <laughs> <laughs> Can you make it fun for me? Yeah, like, uh, and I said, well, did you have fun doing Moving the Fabric? He's like, yeah, that was great. That wasn't boring. And I said, then why did you make it a game and get in trouble? Well, it was getting boring, Mom. <laughs> Fabric, they're like they can be weapons. Yeah, they can be they lava make rocks. Sound. They can. <laughs> it was so bad. <laughs> it was but pretty good. It does it give them that good. energy because we went across the alley to the church grass and we ran around. But that's you know a little bit of grass, two trees, and a couple sticks. So there's only yeah. so much fun to be had. So we did try a little bit of recess, but not enough. But it was fun for a day. Yeah. So, it's always something, it yeah. seems like. So now we're swapping off. Robert works in the morning and I work in the afternoon. So they are hanging out with Dad and doing all of that. But yeah. I think daycare is just hoping that if they close for one week, because there's been some incidences and parents that have calmed down with it and different things, that if the health department gets a wind of it, that there's too many incidences within they daycare, be. they get shut down for 15 days. So yeah. I think they're just hoping that if they give us this five days, they don't have to worry about it, which I, is very smart. Yeah, it is a good thing. It's just they just don't know what's gone on here we, for the last. We couple only weeks. had four hours noted. They let us know <laughs> Sunday night. It's like, oh, yeah. I think I called mom at like eight. So, so guess what? Party tomorrow. <laughs> and I keep thinking, how can I figure this out so I can stay, stay home? home I know. <laughs> Trying to work that out, but yeah. couldn't figure that out. There's just, um, we're still so far behind. And I yeah. have to apologize. There's a bunch of things. So um, the emails, oh. I'm trying to, you know, if you put in the memo line, urgent, please read this today, then, um, um, you know, I'll try to do that. But, and yeah. um, co uh, contacting the retreaters. I still mm -hmm. haven't sent out my little email about the retreats, but... You know, we're we'll get caught up. Yep. At least Tracy is back to work, which we're super excited Five about us. because Brianna isn't doing her job and Tracy's <laughs> job. So we're excited. You'll see her tonight because she'll be yes. behind us during the box opening, cutting mm -hmm. up because she's feeling all healthy. Yeah. Oh, ready to get back at it. <laughs> Good to be back to work. She's called a couple people this morning yeah. and um everybody was squealing a little, Oh, you're back to work. <laughs> So I love it that everybody watches yeah, her and knows her. So it's really good. So anyway, I don't know. Here pretty soon we'll 
we'll all be healthy. Yeah. The kids will be back at school. We'll be back. And it'll all be good. Mm -hmm. So, and I got to, um, I got to have the kids this last weekend. So oh, Brianna, and it was kind of funny. Dad and I were talking about this, that, that, um, your generation has to have date night. Which I think is good, and it makes yeah. sense because Dad and I were talking. Was, How can we never get a date night? It's like oh, we don't want a date night. Uh, <laughs> it's like what would we do? You know, he doesn't want to go to a movie He'll because fall he falls asleep. It's expensive now. So the funny thing, and <laughs> even the same thing with eating out. Yeah. You know, um, we're just so picky about everything that we don't want a date night. Plus, also, I think that the reason that we used to like a date night was to get away from you guys. Yeah. And so and now eat some real food. and eat some real food, <laughs> not chicken nuggets yeah. or uh, you mac know, and pizza. cheese. Oh yeah, yeah, we could eat adult food. And now with our lives, we eat whatever we want. Yeah, all the time anyway. And we don't have anybody messing up our house or yeah. driving us crazy. So you know, we don't need that date night. And the funny thing about that, we were talking about that that. Um, it's it's totally flipped. You guys want to go out and have an adult night. Mm -hmm. We want to stay in and have the kids over. Yeah. Because okay. it's so much and we get to then eat um weird things that yeah. otherwise we would not eat and mm -hmm. our um charcuterie. Yeah. Oh, um, I should share that picture of candy. <laughs> it's pretty awesome. <laughs> They liked it's it. a whole lot of trouble. We were using the little top. We ate all of it. <laughs> oh, I bet. <laughs> and then had some popcorn. Yeah. I don't know why they didn't want to go to sleep. <laughs> we kept thinking at some point that 15 minute sugar crash was going to happen. <laughs> it, it did not. It I know. Only not. at Nana's house can they stay up until like 10 or 11 and wake up at like 5. My kids do not wake up at five. They're up like, and ready to go. Seven or seven thirty. Mom doesn't believe me, but mm -hmm. it's it's true. At my house, they at about nine o'clock. Harper sleep. already asks like if we're staying up late on a Friday night to watch a movie. By nine, Harper's done. It movie over or not? Just can you take me to bed? Well, sure. No, not an ass. No. There could be a piece of candy. Yeah. We had a bag Usually, like, at 11 <laughs> o'clock, I'm falling asleep on the couch. You know, and Papa is already late. Because what we do is our house is so small mm -hmm. um, that we have this piece of... Um, it's that rabbit with oh, a bunny Mickey. Mickey. Mm -hmm. And so we lay, we move the coffee table and we make a big old bed and we have these big old fluffy pillows and all of these quilts and Papa lays down there with them until they get sick of him oh. because he's tickling or rolling or <laughs> snoring or doing something. So they boot him out. But usually by 11 o'clock, I'm kind of falling asleep yeah. on the couch going, kids. Let's go. You know, and <laughs> they, yeah, because they do not want to fall asleep. And then they wake up bright and it's early. Crazy. Yeah, I, I couldn't be all of that sugar. Yeah. We start our morning with mostly, well, hot chocolate and mostly whipped cream. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Get, get going. Get going. Get going. Little hair of the dog. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. The other thing that we noticed was um, our responses, you know. And even even this morning, you said it with, um, with Lizzie. So Lizzie is yeah. begging. And Dan Bay were begging because I was eating a cookie and they both wanted a bite. And I said, oh, you guys are so cute. And Brianna says, that is not cute. Those dogs are begging for food. It's like, well, but look at that cute little face. <laughs> and it's funny that when you become a nana, you know, you change it. I, I, was, I was thinking about that. You know, there was something going on. I might have been, you know, when I was a mother, I probably would have thought it was naughty. And I probably would have said something different. But as a nana, I'm, I'm sure just, you would have. You know, it was oh. just cute. And then you just feel, you know, what you, your response is different. But as a mother, it's, you know, what the hell is wrong with you? Yeah. It's like, oh, <laughs> you're lucky you're standing as right there. As a nana, it's like, honey, are you okay? Yeah. <laughs> I know you're trying to hit me, but yeah. you missed. Are you yeah, still yeah, like, no, no. Yeah. It's the weirdest thing, the things that you just don't, as a nana, that you just, yeah, it just doesn't matter. You just don't care about mm -hmm. it. You don't notice it. And yeah, I don't know. I feel bad the way I send them home, all liquored up and. Oh no, they're usually pretty good. They're pretty tired, tired which is fine. Exhausted, bruised. Tired is fine. <laughs> yeah, Harp took a tumble. But in the mom side of me, they were obviously acting naughty on a couch, for her to fall and smack the table. So a little god smack karma. Yeah, it really yeah. wasn't Nana's fault. Like she was like it walking nicely fault. across the, you know, no, trip no, by there the was dog. some jumping going on, and there was naughty for an attraction. There was, <laughs> there was. That's what and it's happened. not that bad of a bruise from what the from the bruises Wyatt has suffered from his poor head from running into walls. Oh my goodness, that boy. Harper's bruises are like nothing. Yeah. Her, she just has a little purple blush. Is all yeah. it is. It doesn't hurt. To I don't even know what notice. it is about all of those bruises. I think we've mentioned before that every picture of you as a baby 
black eye, <laughs> fat lip, you know, cut on That's your forehead. Wild. You know, every one of them, I thought, gosh, if anybody ever looks at our family album, they're going <laughs> to wonder what, what was going on with that child. Yeah. Uh, I was just lucky enough <laughs> that daycare had known my baby since forever. <laughs> Otherwise, they would have thought other things. Because every time, yeah. I was like, oh, yeah, this happened. Yeah. Uh, or they'd say, oh, did that happen here? We totally didn't notice. <laughs> <laughs> no, let me tell you what happened there. So I'm just so glad yeah. they knew us yeah. and didn't think that we were hurting her baby. Cause. Yeah. But lots, they witnessed a lot lots of, it. of wounds. Running the bike right into the wall. It's like, you saw it, right? Well, yeah, I just thought I was going to stop. But <laughs> running into a door, that's <laughs> happened. And yeah. hitting each other with things. Oh, my gosh. Like, honey, <laughs> everything's a sword. Yeah. Everything. Everything's a Everything. sword. <laughs> yes. Yep. Everything's this way. Wyatt one. grabbed a, a, um, a accessory attachment from my vacuum cleaner to be a sword. Oh, yeah. It's hard for a sword, but I didn't have a sword. <laughs> that foam sword was not going to cut it against that dollar store sword. So he was like, where'd you get that? From your vacuum. That's not a sword. It looks like a sword, Mom. <laughs> no headshots. I think that there's certain things that just never change, you know, when, <laughs> when we were kids back um, in the BB gun days, this is why yeah. you guys never had BBs, <laughs> is because I had six brothers and we all had BB guns and we would actually shoot each other. Yeah. We would actually, you know, pump it up. Not very better many times, run. but enough, you better run. <laughs> <laughs> it was Cowboys and Indians that we played all the time and you want to be a cowboy because you got a gun. <laughs> the Indians had to, had to just run. It was terrible. It yeah. was terrible. But anyway, we used to... Yeah, no BB yep. guns for you guys. No, my because... kids probably can't either. No, no. I think that it's just swords too easy are... to... Yeah. Swords are uh, not so bad. We used to have pillow fight pillows where they... Where I had a red yes. one, we had a pink one, and it was just mm -hmm. designated pillow fight pillows. But what happened to those? Um, They're a little tattered. They've been set oh. up a couple times. Apparently weren't very good. We have to make some new meat. I bought pillow those fight. for them oh, yeah. in Walmart. We were all in Walmart <laughs> together and I had them and it's like, look what you can do with these. And so we're walking through Walmart and I'm pillow. flinging them at them. And <laughs> <laughs> it was really funny. Robert was acting like he didn't know. <laughs> yeah, he's like, I'm going to go down this way. Let me know when you're out. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah. So we usually yeah. do pillow fight pillows because then they know that. Not just every, because we have a lot of throw pillows. Not every pillow yeah. is. You know, it's that piping is gonna like yeah. take out an eyeball. Yeah. So yeah, we're gonna have to invest in some new of those because yeah. I'm I'm in I'm over the swords. Yeah. Yeah. And, but so Harper <laughs> Harper's really time. funny. Um, I think she just likes to wear it because she'll put it on her in her yeah. tutu on her side, <laughs> or she'll have Dad put it down her shirt so she's a ninja. <laughs> it's like you're a dork. And that's really all she just carried on all day long. And yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it was her ninja she sword from night. her birthday. Yeah, yeah, it's actually a pirate Halloween sword, but yeah. She tucks pirate. it where she needs to. Same idea. Just hauls around with it. Oh. She's pretty good with it. There's so much fun. We're going to have to figure out one of these days where I get to stay home with the kids. <laughs> I do get tired, though. There's so much energy. They have so they much are, energy. They are go, go, go. Yeah. 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 They're super fun. Well, we have a week of figuring out, so maybe at a box <laughs> opening you might end up seeing them. Might, so yes. we'll see what happens. So, all right, let's see. Let's look at our list here. So um, we had, um, oh, um, Catherine, um, uh, we were talking about this earlier, and I guess it's that same thing. A, a lot of people say this, that the reason that they watch is because we remind them of their relationship with their mother or their oh, daughter that's cool. that we're just yeah i think that's right i think we're just very normal mother daughter yeah. you know banter back and forth and so many people um say that that that's why they watch and we were talking earlier too about um some of the husbands that watch and um i think it's funny because i think that they don't always understand what we're talking about or yeah i don't know what it no, 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 Brian. <laughs> he thinks doesn't. it's so weird that I'm yeah. editing and I'm giggling. He's like, "Why are you laughing?" I'm hilarious. He's like, "Oh, I my cracked God. myself." Yeah. <laughs> He's like, "Oh man, I don't want to know." Well, and I think too, just just laughing with someone, I think it's just really yeah. important. It's good and, medicine, you know. Yeah, and listening to your laugh is just so infectious, and so it's just a really good thing. But. I think it's really good, but I, um, I, uh, um, and we we're talking about that also. That w there's nothing that we ever talk about except mother daughter stuff, yeah. and then we'll find some questions to answer and some um, things just to mm -hmm. kind of talk about sewing, so we can say that that's what yeah. we're really doing. But. And that reminds me, um, 
was it Donna Dixon who did it in her notes? Yeah. So we were going through our orders. No. And we, no yeah, we noticed <laughs> in her notes, though, she wrote a note to herself. She did that. That was, was for real. Was it Donna Raider? It was I don't know. Donna, I think it was Donna Dixon. It was a Donna. So smart. So smart. Yeah, because when so you guys, yeah. she placed her order and then she put a note that you know, oh, I'm making a wood pile and that funny red is for you know Tiffany's quilt or whatever. Yeah. So freaking smart. Because then when you get your order, you know what it was that you yeah, ordered. You know how to for. put it away. That's right. I was gonna remember. I to thought that, that was. That was, and that's the only one I've seen or had seen before. Super smart, because people Super write smart. notes to us, which is really nice. And you know, I love that comments. she put a note to herself. Yeah, to really, know why really you smart. Because we put your order form in your order with yeah. you, so whatever you write to you. Because I do that all the time. Help. I'll go shopping all day, go home, put all yeah. the way. It's like, why did I get this? Yeah, what was what this did I get for? it for? So we yeah. ingredients. <laughs> I'm like, I guess I'll keep it. There's something. <laughs> It'll come to me. I have a different um, uh, person in my phone oh, that yeah. I text all the time, and it's Mom Meringue. And so if I want to text myself something, because we used to do that all the time where yeah. I would text text a phone number or text a note or whatever mm -hmm. to Brianna, or Brianna would text it to me, and it was just some random thing, and I knew, oh, she just wanted it in her phone where yeah. she could find it. So I was doing that, too, all the time, and I finally added a person. But Which reminds me, there was something I was going to read you. Um, that was the other thing that people keep mentioning on their... Um, on their comments and stuff and on the videos is that um, they get in so much trouble watching the box oh. opening. I can't watch you anymore. I, I can't watch it. I'm getting in too much trouble. And yeah. um, and so we get it. We, we understand that we're the drug dealers <laughs> of the craft world and we know that. But, you know, um, we tell everybody the same thing. It's not like lettuce. It's not going to go bad. Right. You know, it doesn't matter. At some point, it's going to be okay. But I want to share this with you. Because this is something that, um, I don't remember where I got it. Somebody had sent it to us. But, um, um, in fact, we're going to type this up and we're going to add it to your orders. So oh, that you guys will have a um, printed version of this. I think I, I don't know if you've, I don't know if I've read this to you before. Maybe, I think I have. So, um, so imagine, so this is going to be in your box. All right, so it says, uh, you've received your new fabric order and perhaps a family member or friend is not so silently judging you for yet another purchase. <laughs> Don't worry, we've got you covered with this personalized card. Dearest, fill in the blank. <laughs> um, yes, I have ordered more fabric. Yes, I may have a self-control problem, but I really do need it. Need? Yes, let me explain. <laughs> Let's say the average quilt project takes at least 20 hours to be conservative. That's fairly conservative. Let's say I spent $100 on this fabric order. Therefore, I am paying the absolute, paying for the, ab I'm having the absolute time of my life for a minimum of 20 hours, all for the low, low price of less than $5 an hour. Well, when you put it that way. Where else can anyone get that much enjoyment, enjoyment for that low of a price? Plus... Big bonus, After at the end of that 20 plus hours, there is a quilt that can be used or gifted, may ev maybe even to you. So really, it's like the fabric is free. <laughs> I should probably purchase some more. Right? Perfect! Yes. Boom! Yes. You're welcome. <laughs> we're going to type it all up for you, and we're going to give Tracy a big old stack. Yeah. And you can just pull out your little card from your order and say, um... <laughs> I don't think it's true. It's, it is true. You know, think of all of those mm -hmm. hobbies. You could be, you could be at the casino, mm -hmm. right? You could be at the bar. You could be at the mall. Yeah. You could be on your Amazon app. No. And how much? Thing. And how much is a movie ticket, anyways? Oh is my it, gosh! I have like twenty-eight dollars. It's a lot for one. Right. Yeah. So. See. And then, like, with your dad, you don't have to take a nap. You can just, you know. <laughs> Expensive nap. <laughs> just get in that lazy boy and just whatever you want. <laughs> Watch Turn something on, on the YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> take your schnooze there. Free That's of charge. Right. That's right. Yeah. Oh, I was going to tell you that, too. Speaking of YouTube, um, there's somebody that um, she comments all the time. So, so pleasant. Um, 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 conquering Mount Scrapmore with Brenda. 
Awesome. Do you remember seeing that? Uh -uh. You you never read the YouTube comments. And, um, she is super, super nice. She's always so kind and, oh, that's such a great tip. And, oh, I just love watching you guys. Oh, after a long day of sewing, now I get to watch you. Oh, thank you for keeping me company in my sewing room. And oh, cool. she's just conquering conquering Mount Scrapmore with Brenda. And I thought, that's like a really interesting name. So she must be like a somebody. I mean, not a huh. somebody. That sounds really terrible. So I looked her up on YouTube. She has a YouTube channel. Oh, find her. She's very good. She's yeah. very good. She is very normal. She's got beautiful red hair and she does normal. She's doing like the sew along thing and she did. I've watched a bunch of hers and she's just um, super pleasant. Great tips. She did a um, tour of her sewing studio mm -hmm. and how she organizes her scraps. She does it very similar to us in terms of cutting everything up into usable pieces. So uh -huh. um, she's very smart because she says a lot of the same things that we say. <laughs> Anyway, I just thought it was nice because she always is so pleasant and I thought oh so Brenda a little shout out I uh, it was fun to kind of get to know you and watch you a little bit so I subscribed cool so um, anyway she was um, but she was kind of fun so I thought I would just mention if other people are looking for just kind of fun people to watch she's she's got some really good things that she's doing um, let's see oh and the design wall she also um, does the design wall mm -hmm. and um, that's finally back in stock yes and you won't see that in a box opening because we opened it because we were out of it mm -hmm. and needed it but the yep. design wall we feature that in lots and lots of videos and um, we wanted to mention that that mm -hmm. as soon as you put that back up I think there's four yeah, orders right away people that it. have been waiting mm -hmm. two and an eighth yards and I don't know do you want to link the little video yeah, to I below if you below. don't know what we're talking about it's the design wall behind us which is covered up with a quilt right now but whenever we do any of our little classes mm -hmm. and stick things mm -hmm. to that so all right I think that was the only two things that I um, um, so today is mm, Groundhog, Groundhog Day. Day yeah it's a good movie such a good I still movie. like that how movie. old is that movie I don't know it's got to be old old some of those are the best ones though I, I mean, know. still just clean humor and yeah. just so funny and yeah 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 I think they did it. Did they do like a remake of it, but they called it something different? Oh, I don't know. Yeah, there's another one out there. That's kind of like it. Kind of like Ground. It's funny. It's a good one. Yeah, it's really good. It's really good. So yeah, Groundhog Day, and then it was something else. It was Sled Dog Day. Sled Dog Day. Yep. Oh, that's a whole bunch. Tater Tot Casserole oh, Day. Oh, yeah. Tater Tot Day. <laughs> Kids Which is that. funny. Yeah. And we have, is our newsletter going out today or tomorrow? Um, we're hoping to get out today. And so we should talk a little bit about some of the changes that we've made. So remember that we're doing um, a monthly newsletter mm -hmm. now instead of a weekly one. And the monthly newsletter, we're adding a free pattern. We're mm -hmm. adding a favorite recipe. We're adding a coupon mm -hmm. or a featured fabric line that yep. is on Discounted. sale. Mm -hmm. So you'll want to open it. And it's not very big. I mean, I think it still only was two pages. Yeah. Um, but um, but and but it's not going to say all of the different. It might have a little commercial about a new series that we're starting or something that we're doing. But um, it's not going to remind you of all of the different videos that we're suggesting. So you just want to make sure that you subscribe so you know when there's something new. Yep. And speaking of that, um, we have been alluding to the fact that we're changing the box opening up a little bit and. Mm -hmm. We're going to start that sooner rather than later. Um, and we kind of talked about why, and a lot of it is just because um, when we do the box opening Friday morning and then the shop opens at 10, it's very, very difficult to get everything pulled and done and be ready mm -hmm. for the shop um, and for us to really be present, you know, with the people that come in. Yeah. And, um, it's a lot of work because we want to get things out as quickly as possible. Because if you have paid for it at home, we have to go get it so that somebody can't come in and think they're going to buy it. Yeah. And so anyway, it changes things up a little bit. So we just want to make it a little bit easier on everybody. Mm -hmm. And so that's why we're moving them to Sundays. And um, we really, d we were kind of joking about watching YouTube in church and, you know, I'm totally uh, yeah. kidding. <laughs> and we've decided um, <laughs> to change it to 1230 yeah. our time so that anywhere you are in the world, church is 
done. Done, and you can do whatever you Yeah. Whatever you even you have time to get home, check on the pot roast. Yes. And then you can sit down and Because we'll still have our Wednesday night with you. Yeah. Um, but then we won't see you again for new fabric until Sunday afternoon. Yeah. And then what we're going to do, I think, what, this week and next week? Is yes. that right? We're going to go ahead and do a Wednesday night. Uh -huh. We're still going to do our Friday morning, and we're going to remind you every time that there's Sunday, and we're going to do a Sunday. So we mm -hmm. have some bonuses. Yes. Um, so we'll do three a week for two weeks, two weeks and then we're dropping the Friday and it's only going to mm -hmm. be Wednesday's, Wednesday night, Sunday, Sunday afternoon. afternoon. Mm -hmm. And then we'll add some specials, some of the um, Tracy Tuesdays. Um, yep. She has got massive, massive. scraps and um, remnants and things to put together. Yes. And um, but she uh, she's just back to work. Yesterday was her first day back. So we won't give her too much pressure. <laughs> and this is her birthday month. This is yeah, everybody's it's birthday month. So many birthdays. February is the big thing. So um, Jordan's birthday uh, mm -hmm. is the eighth. Mm -hmm. um, Tracy's she is a Valentine baby. Her birthday is the fourteenth. Yeah. Um, Roberts is the eighteenth. Is the eighteenth. Mine is the nineteenth. Mm -hmm. Who else are we forgetting? My grandmother was the fifteenth. No one. Mm. I thought there was someone else. Um, I have a niece and a sister. Yeah. That's it. That might be it. It's a lot, though. I feel like there's somebody else. Just wham, bam, bam, bam. Huh. Well, yeah. Lizzie's birthday. Lizzie's a little February baby. Oh, that is true. Huh, Lizzie. Yeah. She, yeah. Bake me a cake. I need a cake. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, so anyway, so in celebration of all of the birthdays, we're we'll going to have some lots of partying, extra stuff. Yes. All right. So let's see. Let's talk about um, um, the quilt behind us is beginner Bargello. It's just a really pretty one. Super, Super simple. Pretty. And this is one. Right. Yeah. Um, no, this is two. I think this is two. Is it one? I think it's two. It might be it's two. two. It's a half a yard of seven. Um, a quarter of a yard of eight fabrics um, and so yeah that's got to be two mm -hmm. so what's really nice about it is if you've not done a Bargello yet or you really kind of want to try to do one um, it really is pretty simple so it's just a small little pattern it's available mm -hmm. download or purchase and um, it just takes a quarter of a yard of eight different fabrics to yep. do one like panel and then what you can do is you can do just a small one. You can mm -hmm. do two of them for a lap size. You can do four for a queen size. Add so if you just had a yard of eight different fabrics. So anyway, super, super popular. Yeah. And then, in fact, this one, the fabric for this one, we still have some um, fabrics available. And it's because we did a quilt club um, last year that mm -hmm. every single month we had a new featured pattern featuring um, these like third yard um, bundles of fabric uh, well they were like 11 inch 11 strips inches. so that you could either do 10 inch squares out of it or um, strips or you could do um, charm packs and so we had kind of a multitude we had plans for a new quilt club for 2022 but we do not yet have enough staff <laughs> <laughs> to add anything new. Yeah. So it'll be coming this spring. We'll start a spring yes. new club. So uh, stay tuned for that. But um, it can't even be in February because at some point when everybody shows back up for work yeah. um, healthy and not bringing babies with them, um, uh, we have catch up to do. But um, but anyway, so um, this was one of those. And it's called the um, August Quilt Club is what it's called. And it's mm -hmm. just packaged. It's all of those fabrics that we used and it'll yeah. make that size. So, um, so we do have a few of those left. And then, um, this was because, and then we, fr was it Friday? I think we talked about crazy stars. Yeah. Um, but I did have a good picture of the saturated color one that we were talking about. Um, and of course I was at home, but here it is. And this one is baby it. stars. This is the baby stars. So this is the one, um, that we were talking about that I didn't, I couldn't throw a picture in and I told you I'd show you. So this is all the little crazy star crazies and our little noodles. And we have a video just about the noodles, about how to make those leftovers out of different super, things. Super, super fun. Super, super fun. 
And yep. then, yeah, this is crazy stars. And this one is, there's, um, on the pattern, there's baby stars or there's big stars. And this one is baby stars. Yep. And then the big stars quilt will make a 7D by 9D mm -hmm. quilt. And you're just starting with bigger squares. And um, this quilt, did you have a picture of this one to put in? Yeah, I think that's the one they saw. Oh, that's the one you saw with the I, banana kind of color yeah. background. Okay. All right. So yeah. okay, that's where we had this guy to show you. Anything else that you um, wanted to share? I think that was it. I think if any other this. questions, I barely talked to anybody. <laughs> Been lonely, working hard. Yeah. Every day. Yeah. Nonstop. Yeah. I'm hoping though. I I should get a Nana day one day this week. Yeah. Whatever day is convenient. At the very least, on the twelfth, she leaves for vacation. That's exciting. That's Head true. We are leaving. Yeah, we're doing it. We're um, we have to do a we have to do a COVID. <laughs> we have to be vaccinated. Yep. Which I'm all up in for that because then I know everybody else on that boat is vaccinated. Mm -hmm. um, they're doing the boat is only half full. It's um, celebrity lines, and so they are only doing half of the occupancy. Mm -hmm. um, you have to be vaccinated. And you have to be tested before you get on and they watch you. It's a whole big Zoom call thing and yeah. um, you have to print all of that off. And um, so I feel perfectly safe. I just, yeah. I need to go someplace warm mm -hmm. and someplace away. Away. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Someplace that's not here. Yeah. So anyway, yeah, so we're going, uh, we're going, yeah, for the, we always go somewhere in February. Usually we go with, um, Deb Gravel, the um, uh, yeah. shop manager, and Raymond, we would, we, for years, we've gone, mm -hmm. um, and then with COVID, you know, we didn't go anywhere last year. The year before that, we were in Mexico mm -hmm. in yeah. February, and then we got shut down March 15th, when, right after we got right back. back. Mm -hmm. We didn't know anything. We were so remote. We didn't know anything until we got to the airport, and everybody was being tested, and people were going around with um, thermometers, thermometers yeah. and I thought, what is happening? Yeah. Uh, Ebola. Yeah. <laughs> didn't know what was going on so yeah we, we made it home fortunately but i think if we were um a week later it would have been yeah. questionable if we would have made it out but probably who knows but anyway so now we're excited to start our february tradition of going away to someplace warm, warm. yeah yeah so anyway fun. yeah all right okay, okay well let's see we've got lots of boxes to open so we will see you guys yes. tonight at um five o'clock five o'clock bye bye Thank you for watching our video. We invite you to leave a comment, hit the like button, or better yet, subscribe to our channel so you never miss an episode. You can also visit our Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, or Pinterest pages, or find all of those things and our online store at fabricpatch.net.